Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabriel, just another fan TV, back at you, another video. Like the content of this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content of this channel, go ahead and subscribe, man. Look, all right, man. So, some Ravens news for today. Uh, one of the top QB prospects has the Ravens on his uh, his visit schedule, and that will be Florida quarterback Anthony Richardson, who is considered, I guess, the number three quarterback to a lot of people. Some people think he's the best quarterback in the draft just because of his physical traits. But I think it's safe to say, at least for me, I have him behind, you know, your Bryce Young and your CJ Stroud. So he is having in a visit or he's scheduling to have a visit with the Baltimore Ravens. All right. Uh, teams that's also he's going to visit with the Raiders, Panthers, Falcons, Titans and the Colts as well. All right. So this is um, interesting, but it shouldn't be too surprising. One, the Ravens do visits with all kinds of players. They're meeting with all the wide receiver prospects, all the defensive line prospects. Um, I've seen the Ravens connected to. Jordan Addison, Quentin Johnston. Um, I haven't seen Jack, Jackson Smith and Jacob, but they've been meeting with a lot of the top prospects of wide receivers. So the fact that they're doing it at quarterback two shouldn't be too, too surprising. Um, we know what's happening, obviously, with the Lamar Jackson situation. So that's the only reason why this is even going to bring more eyes and more attention to it. Um, I think that the Ravens have to do their due diligence on all quarterback options. I want Lamar Jackson to be the quarterback, but the Ravens got to do their homework on everybody, okay? Um, we also got to think about the fact that it was confirmed that the Ravens offered a contract to Baker Mayfield, right? Uh, Baker Mayfield turned down that contract because he didn't feel as though he would start here in Baltimore because he thought the Ravens, were, you know, if they bring back Lamar Jackson, Lamar Jackson's the starter. No, there's no way he can compete with that. Um, so he turned that contract down. But it confirms the fact that the Ravens are looking at other options at QB, all right? Um, if they can't strike a deal with Lamar Jackson, okay? So, um, as far as Anthony Richardson goes, I think that he's really interested. I mean, 6'4", 245 pounds, runs a 4'4", jump out the gym. Um, and he's not just a freak athlete. He can play quarterback. Like, he has a good arm, can make the throws. Sometimes for him, it's just um, inconsistencies. It's kind of almost a similar scouting port to what Lamar Jackson had coming out. You know, now, now Lamar Jackson had way more production at Louisville. Heisman Trophy winner. Could have won the Heisman Trophy twice at Louisville, really. Um, but in terms of the fact that, you know, both physical, uh, gifted can run the football, but also a very underrated in how they were viewed throwing the football, both could really throw the football out of college. Like I said, Lamar Jackson was way more polished, had way more numbers, uh, coming out than to say Anthony Richardson did. Uh, but the Ravens, they got to do their due diligence on all quarterback prospects on all quarterback options. Uh, this thing with Lamar Jackson is still not resolved. And we don't know when it's going to be resolved. It could drag on well after the draft into the regular season. You know, it could go on for a while. Now, Ian Rappaport was on the Pat McAfee show. And he said that, you know, he views that the Ravens and Lamar Jackson are they're right for each other, that both sides want to get a deal done. He didn't think Lamar Jackson's trade request was a get me out of here. It was more of a, if you don't pay me what I want, then I'll be willing to leave and go somewhere else to somebody who will pay me what I want. And that the relationship with him, with Lamar Jackson and the Ravens, it's still good. Um, that's good to hear. But until we, there's pen to paper, until they're, they're, that, that's their official news coming out, Lamar Jackson has signed with the, with, the, with the Baltimore Ravens. They have agreed to an extension of or a new contract with the total amount. All of that is here. Say so all that is rumors, right? What is a fact is that the Ravens don't have a starting quarterback going into next year. So they can look at Anthony Richardson. And in my personal opinion, um, if the Ravens were to say, be really interested in Anthony Richardson and possibly even take Anthony Richardson somehow, right? Because at 22, they're not going to get him. He's going to go top 10. I mean, you know, you can say what you want about his production, but the traits have really overwhelmed scouts and they're, they're fascinated with Anthony Richardson. All right. So he's going to go high. So the Ravens were to get him, it's going to be as a type of trade up or a Lamar Jackson package. Uh, honestly, that's how it's going to have to happen. But let's say they were interested in Anthony Richardson, okay? Um, to me, he's a guy that needs to sit on the bench for at least a year. Um, so you, you had to get another veteran in here. That means starting, maybe bring back Snoop or get another veteran and, they, and, they, and they're the starter. I don't think he's ready to play right away. I think that Todd Munkin could do wonderful things with a guy of his skill set, but they need to clean up just some of his mechanical things, right? Just his footwork and things like that. Um, I think he reads defense is fine from what I've seen. Uh, I just think that he just has inconsistencies in his, um, in the way he plays the position. Honestly, that's it. That's really it. Um, if it's physical, you can get over that because mentally he's there. Like he can read defense. He knows what defenses are in. 
Um, he can go read his, he can go through his reads. So it's not a fact of, oh, he's just out there running past everybody. He's getting by on pure athleticism. Like, no, he can, he can play. Now, from the Ravens' perspective, right, um, <laughs> it's hard to say that you're going to take an Anthony Richardson and then you're going to get another quarterback and then I still expect the team to win. You know, that's that's the part where it gets a little bit tricky at because you got a rookie quarterback, you got, then you're going to have to bring in a veteran. The veteran starts. I mean, if he's just a stopgap kind of guy, he's not going to be all that good potentially. So now you got a team with a supreme defense, uh, good offensive line, running backs, but now what's the real ceiling on that kind of team? So that's why, listen, I don't blame the Ravens for meeting with Anthony Richardson, for having him come in for a visit. I don't blame him for none of that. But this is why that if you want to be a true team that's going to want to win Super Bowls and quote-unquote contend every year, Lamar Jackson is your best bet to do that because you already know who he is, one. Two, you already know he's an elite player. And and three, like I said, you, you you've seen it, so it's really the same thing. It's the second one, but but for Lamar Jackson, you've seen what he can do. You know what he is as a football player. But Anthony Richardson, it's like pulling a lottery ticket, man. He could be great. He could be bad. He's the kind of guy that you know you draft him. He could he could boom, and you you know you got the next big superstar talent, or he could bust it. He could fall out the league, and now you're stuck in you because you invested three four years in this guy. Now you're at the bottom again trying to figure out your quarterback situation when you already had your guy in Lamar Jackson in the building. Um, so listen, man, a visit is just a visit. It doesn't mean that, you know, he's coming here. It doesn't mean that he's going to be drafted. Uh, you know, like I said, the Ravens have all kinds of visits, you know, Zay Flowers, you know, uh, I think Nolan Smith's coming in for a visit, the defensive lineman from Georgia. So they have all kinds of visits going on. And obviously Anthony Richardson one's going to get the most attention because he's a quarterback. So I, listen, I'm not surprised by that. That's to be expected. Um, the Ravens got to do their due diligence on every single kind of prospect that could help their team. And right now they have a hole at quarterback because they can't agree to their contract with their MVP quarterback. That's just the fact of it. So, um, do I think Anthony Richardson is going to be a Baltimore Raven? Honestly, I don't, um, I don't see it happening. Uh, only way that happens is if the Ravens trade with the Colts and they get to that number four pick, then potentially that's when you get an Anthony Richardson here. But other besides that, it's a pipe dream for, you know, the Ravens to even get the kind of guy. All right. Um, I would, like, like I said, I'd much rather prefer you just stay with Lamar Jackson, pay him. Y'all come to some type of agreement, right? Uh, seems like both sides are dug in or set in on what they want and neither side is negotiating, neither side is budging. Uh, somebody's going to have to make a movement one way or the other, whether that's Lamar Jackson, whether that's the Ravens. Somebody got to make a move because at the end of the day, the way it's looking, you guys are the two best options for each other. The Ravens don't want to start over at quarterback. And Lamar Jackson, unfortunately, for whatever reason, these teams are not are not biting at signing the offer sheet or sending the offer sheet for him. Um, you know, which is unfortunate, which is a whole nother conversation, honestly. So, uh, but I just want to talk about the Ravens bringing in Anthony Richardson. Do you guys think this is important? Do you care? Does it, is it really news? Um, and if the Ravens were to draft Anthony Richardson, what would you think about it? All right. Uh, but I'm going to get out of here, man. Thank you guys for watching. If you stay to this point in the video, consider hitting that subscribe button, man. I really appreciate it. And uh, it's Gabriel, just another fan TV. I'm out.